All right, folks, welcome back to the Nice Fast channel. We have a quick unboxing to do from you. From you? Is this from you? Did you send me this box? You, right there, you. Oh, no. Corey Stafford, Stafford ZDC sent me this box. So, uh, no, that was for you. Uh, we are opening this box. This is Nice Fast channel. Like, comment, subscribe. Hit that notification bell, stick around. Uh, check us out on a live stream Monday night, 7.45 p.m. Eastern time. And... Of course, over on Instagram, at KnivesFast. All right, guys, I'm going to, because it's the easiest knife to get to right now, we're going to use uh, the Finch Hellfire. These are dropping on, uh, well, I don't know. Yeah, you'll see this before then. Um, they're dropping on uh, Friday the 8th of March. Uh, I'm going to take this off camera. 2024 at all the regular Finch dealers, which include, man, this is, he has taped this up so that no one can ever get in this box. That was the goal of this box taping session. There we go. Uh, so again, at all the regular dealers, SMKW, uh, traditional pocket knives, White Mountain knives, Blade HQ, uh, you name it, they're gonna have these uh, for sure. Now there's supposed to be two knives in here, so I'm digging for the second one. Corey has filled this up with everything. That is not a knife. Wow, where did the, this is interesting. Okay, so maybe that is the other knife. No, there's nothing in that. There's supposed to be two knives in here. Okay, there it is. Wow, interesting packaging. Okay, so there we go. Uh, now that I've got all of that nonsense out of the way, uh, we are gonna see what two knives we got. So I'm gonna start with the crazy fun one. This little tiny box is the Bestech BG57B4. Now this knife, uh, I do not even know how to appropriately pronounce the name of this knife. I've heard it pronounced Cuckoo, Choo Choo, uh, Kiki. I've heard it pronounced any, all kinds, but it is spelled Q-U-Q-U, -Q -U, I believe. And it's designed after a cricket. And this is named after the Chinese word for a cricket. And since I don't speak Mandarin Chinese, I don't know how to appropriately, uh, but this was designed by the little daughter of the owners of Best Tech Knives, and this is obviously red aluminum, and the only way to open this knife is with the button, so we're just literally going to kind of gravity swing it open. Okay, well, okay, I was making fun of that, but that's actually very smooth. Um, Best Tech knows how to do a knife, guys. I love how this is completely concealed down inside, I like how they did do a pocket clip. Very cool. Um, it looks like it's probably reversible. And you got this dagger style blade that's only sharpened on one side. Very cool, very small, but I got a four finger grip. Um, and again, the only, that is super. All right, so I was kind of making fun of having to open this with the wrist and I'm still wish it had another deployment method like a flipper tab or something, but that's pretty cool. Uh, it's pretty smooth. Once you get used to it, that's not bad at all. And it locks up very nicely. We'll talk more about this. It's in 14C28N and it's designed by Gogo. Yeah, that's her name. Uh, Gogo is the little girl's name and that is cool. So this is the Shushu or the Choo Choo or the Shishi or the, I don't know, uh, designed by Gogo. So I'm going to go with the, how about this? I'm going to go with the Choo Choo because I think that's what I've heard the most people say. All right, the second knife is from TACCOM Knives, and this is another OTF from them, and this is the Grunt. Uh, I was talking to, and I cannot remember his name right now, the gentleman over at uh, TACCOM a couple months ago, and he was telling me about the Grunt, and here it is. We do have a full four-finger knife, big old boy with a seatbelt cutter here, strap cutter, uh, you do have a reversible clip and, of course, the blade. We have a drop point blade. Uh, we have a nice aluminum case here with an aluminum button. Very snappy. Uh, most likely this was made uh, by our friends over at uh, Best Tech as well. And this is an M390. Uh, 
the blade to handle ratio looks a little off in my head, but maybe it's because of the cutter here. If it had stopped here, maybe it feels better, or maybe the cutter's just messing with my head. Uh, but nice stone wash finish, M390 blade steel. By the way, this guy's got a really nice black finish and black hardware, silver uh, hardware, lots of grip on this guy. Look at that. It looks like almost like a tire tread there. Very cool, nice contouring around the edges with those chamfers, and it really fits my hand really well. The only negative I would say right now is my pinky wants to fall in that cord cutter. Um, I guess if I'm up here, I'm fine, but if I kind of relax the way I like to, uh, not so much. So it kind of got to stay up here. Um, but man, action-wise, this thing is great. Uh, very, very nice. So told you it was going to be a short unboxing. That is the best tech. I don't know. I wish I knew how to pronounce it properly. I hate to keep butchering it, but uh, it's the best tech cricket in Chinese. So uh, if you know Mandarin Chinese, that's the word we're looking for. And then this is uh, the TACCOM grunt. So very, very cool. Check them out, guys. Give me a thumbs up. Comment down below. Let me know what you think of these two. And thanks so much for watching the Knives Fast channel.